Hello, I'm Walter Berger, an application engineer at Walter Machines. Here I would like to show you our Tool Vision system. Tool Vision system is used to detect defined characteristics on the face of a blank rear camera, to determine the radial position and to align the workpiece accordingly. Such characteristics can be cooling holes, soldered PCT plates, sintered PCT vanes and other features. Here you can see the process. The gripper takes the workpiece from the pallet and moves it to the camera. The camera detects the defined features and calculates the radial position. Now the workpiece is chucked as usual, with the one difference that the A-axis is rotated so that after climbing and returning to the zero position, the zero position of the A-axis and the workpiece coincide. Here you can see that the position of the cooling holes is the same as on the workpiece before. After short check of the detection rate, the production process is ready to start. Now I would like to show you how to change the camera lens. This may become necessary if a large diameter range is to be covered by the tool vision system. At the beginning, I take out the protection glass and remove the housing which is fixed with four screws. Then I unscrew the mounted lens and replace it with the other one. Finally, I mount the housing again and insert the protection glass. Now I show the teach-in of the tool vision system using a blank with two cooling holes. First I start the robot manager. I go to robot settings and equipment to see if the camera is activated. In the drop down menu here, select the camera and activate it. Behind this button you find the basic positions of the camera. Now I start the teach in process with F4 and NC start. A window opens in which the current diameter and the current workpiece lengths are to be entered. After next, the workpiece is gripped by the robot and moved to the camera. The vision setup menu now opens. Here I can select an already created process from the list or I create a new one. I copy an existing process and enter a new name. Now I open this process with edit or double click. If the workpiece is not in the middle or it's not sharply displayed, I can use these buttons to bring the workpiece into the correct position. On the right side you see the setting possibilities. For our purposes not all parameters are important, therefore I only deal with the parameters relevant for the position finding. First I set the exposure time. The higher the value exposure time is, the brighter the workpiece is shown. Depending on the shape of the work face, the value can be different on different workpieces. It should be guaranteed that the areas which are used for positioning stand out as strongly and constructly as possible from the rest of the end phase. 
With GPM Locator Tool 1, I now learn the reference points to be recognized. With Teach, I define the Teach In area. For this, I draw a rectangle with a slightly larger distance to the diameter. With G Edit, I mark the relevant areas. In this case, I lay a circle over the two cooling holes. In other cases, like Picati inserts, a line can be the right choice. The small arrows on the circles should point from the dark to the light area. The change is done with Invert. With Set.org, the first reference point is set in the middle of the cooling hole. If this is done, I put a training mask over the picture. All areas, except the areas what I marked before with G-Edit, are ignored during the scan. With search window and set, I can define the scan area. With score threshold, contrast threshold and elasticity, you can now influence the recognition, tolerances and accuracy. The exact effect of these parameters is described in the documentation. Now I check if a cooling hole is detected. For this I use Snap and Find. It is the case and so I copy the settings into the clipboard. I mark GPM Locator Tool 2 and import the values just saved. Here it is now only necessary to set the second reference point. Once this is done, I check my settings are ok by selecting Single View Inspection and Snap and Find. If Pass appears, a position is detected and the setting can be finished. Now I start ToolStudio and open in ToolStudio Server a batch. In the workpiece definition in the batch, you have to enter the tool length, the tool diameter, activate the camera and select the desired vision process. If this is done, the production of the parts can now be started. You can also find more information about our software, machines, trainings and customer care on our homepage.